Good morning. Good morning, you guys. <clears throat> well, I just, just had to say, did you guys catch Buzz Aldrin yesterday telling a little seven-year-old kid that uh, we didn't go to the moon? Did you catch that? You know, this is the dude. He was there, you know. So, you know, it just kicks off the morning to the point of like, so why do people deal with these lies all the time? And what's so important about it? I mean, was this some kind, this is a race war, some, uh, 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 we were racing to get to this place first. Now we got Japanese guys over there and everyone, that's crazy. What happens? We can't, can we get past that Kuiper belt or whatever that belt is out there? Has you guys ever heard of that, you know? I don't know. And what does it matter? You know, I was, I've been teaching people about the moon the last couple of days, and, you know, I get, oh, the moon rings like a bell. It's really empty. You know, it's a satellite. How did we make it? How, who would make something that huge? My God. You know, our minds are so crazy. We'll believe in just about anything. But I said, you know, who, who cares about all of that? You know, you spend like the last 20, 30 minutes talking about garbage. Let's talk about something that was that's written down. They say that's garbage, too. That's all pseudoscience. Yeah, well, somebody wrote it all down. And, you know, this is all we have. Otherwise, we've got to sit around and listen to what you think it is, you know. And here, here's things that are written down already. And so um, it's just funny. It's just funny. I always, I've done a lot of these. Uh, well, not a lot, but the idea that I've talked about. Why do we have to follow the narrative? What's so important about the lies that we get from mankind? What's so important that we have to follow these things? You know, well, he says, well, if you don't, if you get out of line with everyone else, where are you going to be at in this world? You know, that I said, so God damn well, so I have to believe this in order to get here. Well, that's how I lost my last bunch of friends is because I had to believe what they were thinking. I said, I'm like, I'm on mine, bitch. Wow, dropping them was like dropping a bad habit, you know? And I did a bunch of it all at one time. And they came out as the only things caught up in it. I love it. I love it. But anyways, the idea is, is who wants to be caught up in all this crap? You know, once you start cutting the garbage out of your life and out of, you know, like, I don't need to care whether or not we're living on a flat earth or a round earth. Is that, is that really important? Do you have to think of everything? Well, yeah, we do. Everything comes from mankind as being a lie. Yes. Yes, we do. So anyways. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm still around. To, uh, <clears throat> nothing happened during the blood moon last night. But there's sure a lot of people worried about that blood moon. And of course, we know the moon as being something that helps. To, it's in the water phase of creation. It's the second stage of consciousness. And it's red. It's what moves us up and down, our feelings and stuff. So pays very close attention to our emotions. So, um, yeah, so I was saying, you know, we should stick more to what we do know about this moon than to go around talking about the superstitious parts of things. And, of course, that's what it sounds like I just did, you know, because she considers itself as being the moon, as being, you know, goddess of sin and fertility, you know, fertility why not you know it has to do with the menstrual cycle and stuff like that so um but there's a lot to be known about our moon and its effects on us and earth you know and uh of course in the run of things uh, because it's representing a particular part of our lives like this uh the world's you'll find that you know you have the sun and the moon and the stars and that final one over here is generally some kind of, uh, this is, you know, the God. This is where Mother is, the other side. But when we're in the process of trap, we haven't made it over there yet a lot of times. This is part is knocked off. And that's the white horse. That's uh, the east or the, yeah, when you come from the east, you know. That's the side where the Son of Man comes in. 
So anyways, I just wanted to say good morning and that uh, perhaps later on today, if I get some of my work done, I, I can come out here and play some more, all right? So uh, we learned a lot from these little, those, uh, those uh, newer scriptures that I've been working on, you know? Um, I can't wait to do more. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going back into our own Bible for a little bit, you know? It'd probably be fun to go and <clears throat> read up on some of these other Bibles, like the, uh, you know, uh, some kind of Hindu scriptures and things like that, and show where the where the code shows up in it as well. But or just to see it, I'd like to see what it's like. Maybe it's you know, maybe it's not in there, you know. But I know it is. I know it is. Anyways, I'll chat with you soon. Take care. All right. Happy day.